In this tutorial, we'll see how to get interface configuration details using Rust API from Cisco CSR 1000B device. Before we start writing the playbook, we'll explore the API using Yang suit. Here, I have already added the device. If we go to setup and Yang files and repositories, we have CSR 1000B repo available. I have uploaded this from the device. All these I have explained in the Yang suit video. And if you go to Yang set, we have iOS XR native Yang set. And here I have added a filter for native models. Under device profile, I added the device. If you want to add the device, you can click on create device and add the profile details with device IP username password and protocols now if you want to check the connectivity from yang suit to the device you can click on check selected devices reachability here we can see all these protocols are enabled in the device from the cli if you want to verify we can give show run pipe include ip http and here we can see rest conf is enabled in the device now we'll see the api to get the interface details i'll go to protocols rest conf i'll select the yang set device yang model i'll give native depth limit i'll give no limit load module this is loading native yang model i'll expand this to check the interface details we can go to interfaces interface and gigabit ethernet i'll click on generate api So here we are getting a message APIs are generated. After that, we need to click on show APIs. So here we will be able to see all the API details of TSR1000B interface configuration. And here we are trying to configure Gigabit Ethernet interface. And we'll see how to do a get request i'll click on show apis again click on this get request and if you want to get a particular interface details you can use this api you need to give the specific interface name here we'll try to get the details of all the interfaces we can click on try it out execute And here we are getting the api details actually this is connecting from the yang suit you can see the yang suit ip it is 99 colon 8443 this is the port number of yang suit and from there it is trying to reach the device port number 443 rest conf and this is the url for getting the interface details and here we can see it is passing one additional header accept and application slash yang hyphen data plus json and here we are able to see even the response so this particular device is having all these interfaces configured in this video we'll be just doing only a get request first we'll 
see the API details from Postman. I'll open this particular request. Here also I have added same URL native slash interface slash gigabit ethernet. Then in the headers, if I hide auto generated headers, I have added one additional header here accept and we are expecting data in yang data json format so we have to give this else this api will fail and under authorization i have given basic authorization and device username and password so first we'll try hitting from postman i'll click on send here also we are getting same data if you want to see the python script for this you'll be able to see the python script for hitting this api here they are using request library and under headers we can see it is adding authorization it is not adding username and password this is actually a base 64 encoded password of admin admin From Ansible, we'll see both options how to pass authorization and how to pass username and password separately. Now we'll go to the documentation of URI module in Ansible. We will be using this particular module for hitting the REST API. Here, if you see, we have one mandatory parameter which is URL. and we'll see how to pass the message body and message body format then how to handle the headers how to pass these headers in the request then what are the methods so first we'll see how to do a get request then how to add custom status code all these options we'll see now so let's start writing the playbook i'll go to vs code i'll create a file here 01 get all interfaces dot yaml i'll give a name rest api get and we'll run this against r3 r3 is csr which we have seen earlier i'll give gather facts false and under tasks name get interfaces and this particular module is by default available in ansible core so you don't have to install it manually you can see here this module is part of ansible core and use ansible dot built-in dot uri then we need to give url i'll go to postman and from here we'll copy the url And here instead of device IP, we can even give Ansible underscore host. This variable is already having the device IP. This is a magic variable. Now we are going to hit this particular URL and first we'll see how to pass username and password manually. I'll give user admin password let me it is not recommended to keep password in plain format like this you need to use ansible vault or you need to put it in some variable and use it here yeah, just for learning purpose i'm just adding it in this format then the method is going to be get 
and will pass even headers and if you look into the headers of postman we were passing this data same data will pass there also i will copy this i'll give accept and paste this data and i'll register this to a variable and i'll print this data here here initially we'll be getting the ssl validation error first we'll try running this without the validate ssl option validate certs option i'll give ansible playbook and directory is 22 file is 01 enter So here we are getting an error saying that certificate verify failed in production it is recommended to have a valid certificate in all the devices so that you won't be getting this error because ansible is by default validating that it is connecting to the right device and if you have valid certificate you will not be getting this error now here we'll give an exception I will give validate certs false save it and let us try running this now here we are getting the data in JSON format now if you want to access only this response we can give json here this we have seen multiple times how to access the specific data and how to extract data using json query and all or filter plugins try running again now here we are getting only the JSON data. Now we'll see how to pass authorization header instead of the username and password. For that, first we need to encode the username and password using base64. For that, we can give echo space hyphen n and username is admin, password also is admin. base 64 enter so this is the base 64 encoded value of username and password now i'll comment this one and here i'll give authorization this basic authorization and here i'll paste the encoded key save the file now we'll try running the playbook again and now also we are getting same data and if you notice this particular authorization key in postman python script also we are getting same data so postman is encoding this using base 64 in this way you can do get request to Cisco device using ansible in the next video we will see how to get the full configuration in json format using rest api